This Saturday's National Post newspaper in Canada had a striking front page with the message, Exodus to Quebec, many Jews are fleeing an increasingly unfriendly France and being warmly welcomed in Montreal. We are flourishing with our Jewish identity, able to live it fully. As the people of the book leave France in this modern-day exodus, it is a fulfillment of Bible prophecy. Welcome to Bible in the News. This is David Billington with you. As anti-Semitism rises in France, the Jewish population is feeling increasingly uncomfortable. Most of the hatred and incidents seem to emanate from a large Muslim population in France. However, French society seems unwilling to take a stand and stamp it out. The National Post article contained a paragraph about the Jewish Community Protection Service report on rising anti-Semitism. Every year, the non-profit Jewish Community Protection Service publishes a report on anti-Semitism in France, using inf information provided by the French Ministry of the Interior. The report for 2014 found that the number of anti-Semitic acts had more than doubled from the previous year, rising to 851. Even 10 years ago, anti-Semitism was on the rise in France. Today it is much worse. Here is another snippet from the National Post article. Fred Frederick Sadoun moved from Paris to Montreal with his wife and young children 10 years ago as anti-Semitism began to rise in France. There were assaults on Jewish children, anti-Semitic graffiti near Jewish schools, and advice from a rabbi not to wear Jewish symbols in public. We preferred leaving, thing, leaving before things got worse, Sadoun, 46, said in an interview. The focus of the article in the National Post is the exodus of Jews from France to Quebec, Canada. It is expected that a Canadian newspaper would take that slant. However, the vast majority of Jews which have left France are moving to Israel, the National Post reported. Figures published in December showed that 7,000 French Jews left for Israel in 2014, more than double the number in 2013. Serge Benheim, president of a Paris synagogue that came under attack last summer by participants in an anti-Israel march, estimated that another 3,000 to 5,000 left for other destinations. Over the last hundred years or so, Jewish communities across Europe have disappeared. The greatest blow to Jewish life in Europe was, of course, the Holocaust. I am certain that this great exodus of Jews from Europe to Israel is a clear fulfillment of Bible prophecy and evidence for Bible truth. In fact, in this particular incident, the exodus of Jews from France to Canada and the exodus of Jews from France to Israel are both fulfillments of prophecy in different ways. First, how is the exodus of Jews from France to Canada and other countries a fulfillment of prophecy? Consider Deuteronomy 28.65 where Moses prophesies concerning his people, the Jews, in exile. And among these nations shalt thou find no ease, neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest. But the Lord shall give thee there a trembling heart, and failing of eyes, and sorrow of mind. This is a clear fulfillment of these words. Among the nations of the world the Jewish people have found no ease, neither has the sole of their foot found rest, but they have been driven from country to country down through the centuries. Thomas Newton in 1754 considered this fact and similar fulfilled prophecies concerning the Jewish people in his book entitled Dissertations of the Prophecies which have remarkably been fulfilled and at this time are fulfilling in the world. In consideration of this particular prophecy in Deuteronomy, Thomas Newton wrote the following. They have been so far from finding rest that they have been banished from city to city, from country to country. In many places they have been banished and recalled and banished again. Later in his work, Thomas Newton reflects on fulfilled prophecy and expresses his faith that the prophecies concerning the restoration of the Jews would equally be, be fulfilled. The prophecies have been accomplished to the greatest exactness in the destruction of their city, 
and it's continuing still subject to strangers in the dispersion of their people, and they're living still separate from all people, and why should not the remaining parts of the same prophecies be as fully accomplished too in their restoration at the proper season when the times of the Gentiles shall be fulfilled? Can it be a coincidence that the Jewish people have had this exact experience down through the centuries, over and again, right down until our own day, and yet remained a distinct and separate people from all others? They have survived unprecedented persecution in events, in events such as the Holocaust and the pogroms in Russia. When Thomas Newton took up his pen in 1754, it was 143 years before the first Zionist Congress, which took place in 1897. In our time, the return of the Jews to their ancient land, which Thomas Newton expected from his faith in the scriptures, has become a fact. This, then, is a cl clear fulfillment of prophecy. In the events of the modern-day exodus of Jews from France to Israel, consider the following scriptures. Luke twenty one twenty four, And they shall fall by the edge of the sword, and shall be led away captive into all nations. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles, until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. Zechariah 2, verse 6. Ho, ho, come forth, and...